I'm representing here a Russian company called uh, Educational Robotics, but we are based in Northern Europe and Norway, Sweden and Russia. So uh, I would like to present here uh, results of my international team, which specializes in motion control uh, of uh, underactuated nonlinear dynamical systems. In particular, the talk I'm going to present on this conference is dedicated to well-known benchmark task of uh, planning and orbital stabilization of a well-known um, robot called uh, Butterfly, which was introduced by prof American professor Ken Lynch. The conceptual design of this robot was introduced in 1998 and it remained unsolved for 16 years. Uh, so several theoretical approaches uh, to solving this task were um, introduced, but none of them was very successful in experimental validations. So in this particular task, uh, there is a ball which is rolling on a frame uh, continuously in one direction. Um, it shouldn't be losing the, the contact with the frame and shouldn't be slipping. So what makes this task so difficult? It is the fact that the uh, coordinate which describes the rotation of the ball cannot be um, directly measured or actuated. So it's so-called passive degree of freedom. So another complication arises due to the fact that the contact between the ball and uh, the frame is unilateral, which means that the ball can depart from the frame easily. So as a result, we have to control this setup in such a way that the force of contact is always one direction, so it does not, the ball does not depart. So the motion of this dynamical system uh, is usually described with four generalized coordinates, but one of the key contributions of this particular work is that we found specific type, specific set of coordinates which um, allows for very efficient uh, uh, derivation of uh, dynamical uh, equations of the system. This and these coordinates are also na natural for uh, planning of the motion and for developing of control very robust and stable um, control stabilizing the periodic motion uh, and it is important to know that this um, this coordinates um, that is the difference between our previous contributions in, uh, in our set of coordinates uh, the equations remain uh, valid even when the, the ball remain uh, leaves the, the frame or there is slippage or even if there is some elasticity in the contact that might be the case why our pre predecessors were not successful in our case, it's actually working. So in this uh, task, the rolling motion of the ball cannot be reversed. Therefore, it can be used as a natural parameter uh, in uh, motion planning task for um, uh, using a um, method of uh, virtual harmony constraints. Uh, I won't go into details about that. It's two, two hours lecture at least. So uh, we, have, we assume that there is a, some sort of uh, parametric family of functions which are candidates for um, motions, phenomenal motions, and then we uh, find the optimal set of these parameters uh, to find the actual trajectory, uh, just by analyzing the dynamics of, of the system uh, on the chosen nominal trajectory. Um, we present here in an exhibition hall uh, experimental validation, a, li a live demo over there. Uh, you can have a look at that. Uh, it shows that suggested theoretical result is, is valid and confirms it pretty closely with very good quantitative agreement with predictive behavior and to add to that our current setup is uh, in our current setup the real-time control works on an uh, inexpensive uh, prototyping platform called BeagleBone you can cut it out <laughs> if you want but it's very well known uh, uh, it's pretty much like a mobile phone and it just shows how robust and, and visible our control architecture is. Thank you very much. <laughs>